ER? Sorry. Okay. Uh, Steven, go. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's a per. Okay. People that you love. Yeah. Alan Jackson? Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you knew I wouldn't like it? All right. Uh, Johnny Depp, okay. Yes. Avril Adam Levine. Levine. Oh, Adam Levine, not a okay. Adam Levine. He's a babe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a little good. <laughs> but boy, do I want him. <laughs> could sway me. <laughs> you know, we're just having a beer, and just all of a sudden. <laughs> You're very secure in a manhood. That's a very secure thing to say. Okay. Um,. So, we have a multidimensional array. That just means a uh, series of arrays within an array. So, this is what uh, a for loop within a for loop is good for. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through this array. Uh, so, we're going to call my loves. And we're going to write my loves.length. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, each time this loop goes, it goes through each one of these, right? Now it's going to say, okay, uh, var j equals 0. j is less than r i dot length. Uh, j is just going to be another variable that we're, that we're temporarily using. So this one was a temporary variable that we were using, right? i. So now we can even just name these like whatever yeah we're just using i and j okay. yeah um and these are just temporary variables that we're using so if i do my loves i dot length so this is going to be i so it starts off at zero so it's going to be my loves uh, uh zero so this is going to be zero dot length this is going to be what what length is this uh well sorry the uh the length of the first element uh, of the first element is yeah two because the first element in this array is another array. So we can call length on another array. So the length on this array is 2. So we say, OK, j++. Now it's going to say, OK, console.log r. All right, so we're going to do my loves. And this is going to look really confusing, but it's going to make sense. And this is if you want all the data inside this multidimensional array. Again, confusing word. All that all that means is arrays within an array, right? Yeah, I want to get all the information from everything. Yeah, I and J just means like so. I is gonna be uh, my loves. So it's gonna start off at zero. So th the the order of operations is this. It's gonna first go through this loop. It's gonna say okay, I. All right, I is gonna start off at zero, and then each time this loop runs, this, all right, sorry. Let me, let me try and think of it, uh, a better way to say this. After all the loops for this finish, this will get repeated all over again. So this will finish running, and then this, every time this runs, this will uh, run, and this will finish running, and then this will increase, right? So you have this for loop running, um, and each time this for loop runs, this will run this amount of times. So in this case, we're saying, OK, uh, my loves dot length is actually, let me come up with a better example that's easier. OK, my question is, inside that one array, you have three arrays, correct? Yeah. So or four, I think. Four, OK. So each time yeah. Four. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're calling out the bar i, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so this is just um, different variables that we're using. We could have named this I. Instead, we could have just named it Booger. So this is going to be Booger, Booger, Booger. We could have named this J, Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. Right? And they're just variables that we're using to store data inside. It's not, it's not actually gain, gathering information from anything. I by itself is not doing anything. It's just a number. Right? I is just uh, storing a number inside. We're using it to then gather information. So let me give you another example. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you. Um, so let's say that we want to run this for loop. First off, let me show you guys how to run a nested for loop. So each time this loop runs, this will run this many times. So this loop will run uh, four times, this outer loop, right? This inner loop will then run two times for each time this runs. So for loop is running. Okay, i is equal to zero, whatever. Now, this is the statement that runs. This statement just happens to be another for loop. So we're saying, okay, while j is less than two, j plus plus. Now, do a console.log. So this is going to print out i, which is zero, plus this, uh, empty space, plus j. j is equal to zero. Now, it's going to say, okay, we're going to run this loop again, this inner loop right over here. So we're going to run this loop again because we're still not done yet. So j is now equal to 1. j, you know, j less than 2. Is 1 less than 2? Yeah, so it'll run again. So then this will run again. And then it's going to be 2 equals 2. Okay, so this is going to be done. Now, at the end, then it's going to say, okay, now this, the first for loop is, uh, this outer for loop has ended its first cycle. Now it's going to increase by 1. So now i equals 1. Is 1 less than 4? Yes. So this will continue. So now this for loop is going to go through its whole thing again. It's going to finish itself, and then it's going to go to this for loop. And then for loop is going to check. 2 is less than 4. So basically, how many times this runs is this number times this number. 4 times 2. This will run 8 times. Now this part is pretty confusing, which is why nested for loops I want to go over again. Each time this loop runs, it runs four times, right? This will run four times. Each time this loop runs, it will finish whatever's inside the, the inner loop. So this inner loop will complete. Like if there's like a million in here, or a thousand, this will first complete and then this will end and go to the next i equals 1. Again, this inner loop is going to finish all of its doing because it's inside this outer loop, right? The outer loop is like, okay, we're going to run this many times, but the inner loop's like, okay, well, I'm inside you, so I have to finish running first. So I'm going to do all my stuff. I'm going to finish all, you know, up to 1,000. And then... Yeah. Well, um, yeah, you're, then you're going to start off with like 1,001 numbers, yeah. So then, but then these are different incrementers, right? So this is going to reset. J is going to reset back to zero. But this is not. This outer loop is what defines the ending of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so this is what's going to happen. Then you have 
have one for, I don't know, Arkansas. A, B, you want to print out all the names in each one of these. To do that, you can't just to the original. Now, this is a more practical one, right? We have four different people with four different loves. I want to print out all the loves from each, uh, from each array, within this array. To do that, I say, okay, we're going to run this outer loop how many times? Four times. One, two, three, four, right? So that means my loves dot length. Not love s, but loves. And this inner loop is going to run how many times? A Not a thousand, but the inner loop runs each time, right? So for the inner loop, j is going to be, this is just going to be two. two. Yeah. So my loves i dot length. If, let's say that we did it this way, because what if one of these had three of them? What else do you love? Who else do you love? Elizabeth Taylor. So let's say one of them was different. So if you put, you know, a hard-coded number, then it, it wouldn't be able to get this last one, right? Because let's say that they're different lengths. So this one allows you to get the length. So now what this does is it's going to print out every single one. So now... Oh, we did that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I zoomed in too much. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Console. Do 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 do. So now, if we print this. Let's see. Gwen Stefani, Janet Jackson, Eddie Vedder, uh, Natalie Portman, Alan Jackson, Johnny Depp, Adam Levine, Elizabeth Taylor. So now I printed all of them because it's a multidimensional array. So now you guys are going to practice that with your um, free code camp. All right, so I think that'll be enough for today um, because we actually covered a lot. Um, this was heavier than I thought it was going to be. So I'll have you guys work on those for free code camp. Uh, and for your homework, I want you guys to, um, let's see. For your homework, I want you guys to attempt to implement your plugin. Oh.
Yeah, we're going to try and go over APIs next week because this week we, I mean, we went to like five hours in or four hours in. That's kind of long for learning programming. Um, if you guys want to get ahead on learning APIs, um, go to my blog and I have some really fun ones. Hard, hardlydent.tumblr.com L Y D N T D E N T sorry. Yeah, hardly dent like hardly like Harvey Dent but hardly dent. dot tumblr dot com and then go to um, if you guys are interested in movies, there's an OMDB IPI tutorial. If you guys are interested in a bunch of random ones like the Yoda speak. The